Welcome to this video tutorial, which is going to show you how to add and configure locations. You'll notice here under the social ordering tab, we're on this configuration page, and there's a message telling you that you need to add a location and items before your social ordering app URL is going to be available. So that's the URL uh, or the link where your customers are going to be able to visit and begin ordering, browsing, uh, and ordering products from your business. So to add a location, click on the social ordering drop down tab and the locations page and simply click add location on the top right corner. So here's where you're gonna to begin to add information about your business. So your business name, your phone number, email address, uh, address, city, country, state, zip code, and select a time zone. Once you have that first section squared away, scroll down and your next section here will be takeout and delivery settings. Now rest assured, if you're not a restaurant, uh, you'll be able to um, configure the labels takeout and delivery in another section, which I'll show you in another video. But here's where you're gonna be able to configure your order minimum, sales tax, uh, delivery minimum, delivery flat fee, and delivery fee percentages. So you have all sorts of options here. Uh, for example, if someone's ordering online, you know, if they have to meet a minimum of $10 for that order to execute, you can put that here. If you wanna have a base sales tax here, you'd put that percentage here and so on and so forth. You also have the option to uh, request a tip at the end of the transaction so that um, the customer will enter a tip amount in that field. And again, if this is uh, a restaurant or something of the like, uh, you can also have um, directions for delivery orders that are pulled in from Google for your delivery driver. So those are both optional tools here. You can check, leave these checked off if you want to leave these or have these fields uh, available to you and you can uncheck them if they're not applicable to your specific business. And then as you scroll down, you'll see uh, there's takeout hours and delivery hours. Um, so if, for example, you don't offer delivery, you can just simply uncheck all of these boxes. Uh, if you're not open on Sundays, obviously you can uncheck this box. And of course, if you have different hours of operation uh, on Saturdays or any days of the week, uh, you can certainly adjust those here in these drop downs. Finally, we'll move down to the messages section. So this is where you can uh, show an email message and a thank you message on your website after a customer has placed their order. So you can say, thank you for your order. Please allow up to 30 minutes for pickup and one hour for delivery or whatever works for you. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the same message in this field. So this message will be emailed to the customers who've placed an order. And this is the last message that will appear on the social ordering on the website that the order form uh, after they've placed their order. So you can have them read the same or different messages, whatever you'd like. Finally, down here in this notification section, this is where you can enter a fax number to get the fax, uh, um, the order faxed to your business and or you can have um, email addresses put in here. So you can do one or the other or both. It doesn't matter if you wanna be notified via fax and email, you can do that. Or if you just wanna be uh, notified via email, you can fill that out. And then who that email is coming from. So if you have uh, an email address that you wanna send these uh, orders to, you can put that in here and just click save. And now you'll see that your uh, first location is all set up. You'll see that it tries to uh, pull in a Google map uh, pin of your business. Obviously, since this is an example business, it's not pulling it in, but you can drag and drop this and drag the pin and drop it to your desired location to make sure that's completely accurate. And I'd recommend just doing one more quick run through to make sure that all this information is accurate on this page. Finally, you'll see when we go back, uh, the last thing that we'll need to do rather uh, to get a link to our shopping cart on this configuration page is to begin adding menu and products list. So if you need to learn how to do that, go ahead and uh, view the video tutorial on adding menus and products 
and uh, you will then be able to uh, make your shopping cart live to your customers. Hope that that was helpful. Thanks.